Root cannot. <laughs> so I was the vice chancellor one day, I had to think. So you know, as a vice chancellor, you can't be an ordinary person. They immediately risk you, take you to the senior most person there. I said, sir, it is the root cannot. I didn't know what is the root cannot. I thought we were going to the root. So every day, uh, uh, like that, for about three months, it went on and on and on. They temporarily filled some more. Pampama, Satya. He is Satya. So I had a meeting in Goa. So I had gone there in the hotel. I was sleeping at night. I thought a bomb had burst in my mouth. <laughs> so, what, what to do? Suddenly, and again, you know, I said, so many people are there from the university. They said, oh, our dentist, right? Net, they got to be a dentist. They said, sir, this has to be removed, sir. Now I'll remove your feeling. I said, okay, do what you like. Anyway, after that, I came to back to Manipal. They said, okay, this teeth has to be removed. I said, where did you do it in the first place? <laughs> so, ever since that time, I stopped going to dental services. <laughs> Uh, joking, joking, joking. I'll tell you something very interesting. Today we know. Think in any coconut oil. You just put coconut oil in your mouth. One tablespoon of corn. Don't tell this to your patients because you lose it. You can do that yourself. Just go on gargling the coconut oil. And it should go through your teeth, crevices, etc. etc. And the whole thing will get digested there. The coconut oil and mother's milk are the only two stuff in this world which can be digested in the mouth. Because saliva and trypsin can digest coconut, saliva and lipase can digest the fat, and that's how the mother's milk and coconut oil having the same fat, monolauric acid, which is the most important base of human immune system. Now coconut oil has come back. Forty-five years ago, when I wrote about coconut oil, people wanted to kill me. <laughs> Today, I'm very happy when I go to Seattle to see the headquarters of Costco. Half the building is coconut building. Today, every house in America they have coconut water. They don't eat cornflakes with the cow's milk, coconut milk. I'm so happy. I like saving it with coconut milk at some jaggery. And who wants the cornflakes with cow's milk? <laughs> so Mook. this is coming back slowly. So it is Mukati. Nukati. Mani Gala Padra Kati Goy Kadali. Coming back to what I was talking to you about is we must build health and not invite diseases. You will be surprised. I have touched wood. I have no problem with the tooth now because I gargle every morning with little coconut oil. And it's so fine, I have not seen a dental surgeon for a long time now. But sometimes I go to see, just to see, because my children, they will they will say, you must get your teeth examined and things like that. Don't worry about that child, it will, it will laughing. <laughs> Coming back to the subject of health, you again must define health in such a way that the man doesn't have to go to a doctor for seeing whether he's healthy or not. So, according to Ayurveda, you can find out whether you're healthy or not without ever seeing a doctor or going to a laboratory. Now, if you go to a laboratory, what will happen? I'll tell you. you, you I'll tell you, yes, you know what happens. You go to a checkup, then, then all the tests are done. TSH is slightly high. Everything is fine. You are fine. TSH is high. Immediately you are given Tyronom. Take this. But today we know TSH can be high or low for even normal people. Your PSA is high. You are told, oh, prostate, there is a cancer. Now, at least government of America said nobody's PSA test will be reimbursed by the, by the insurance company because PSA test is fallacious, 100% fallacious. The minute you go and chest pain, you run on that machine. What's called GTT or treadmill. You know, it's so fallacious, the specificity and sensitivity of a treadmill test is less than 50%, which means whether it is positive or negative, it means nothing. It depends on the incidence of disease in the population. It's called a Perloff's hyperbole. And if you know the Perloff's hyperbole, is a professor of cardiology in uh, Washington University. Perloff's hyperbole means if you are in Japan, if you have got a 100% positive uh, test, it means nothing. If you are in Finland, if you are 50 percent positive, it means a lot because Finland 90 percent of people are having coronary artery disease. 
So we simply do these things. Even today, everybody has done the TMT. I don't know why. But TMT machine is there. And in the corporate hospitals, the, the management has a meeting and says, Mudita, your uh, quota is so much. Looking at it in the last three months, you are not being very economically viable. That means you can go. <laughs> so everybody is given a quota. So being a doctor in a corporate hospital is also stressful.